okay 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 so i'm going to do this video like i do all the others since no one is here yet so welcome back to my channel yes so you guys like the video where i talk about special handling now let's call it special handling because when you start to take your classes and those exams is going to be termed special handling um specimens that have to go on ice specimens that have to be collected in place you know on heat there are specimens that are light sensitive so this is where you classify um, the section that's classified as specimen handling this is the type of stuff that you'll have to know or this is what you're going to learn when it comes to special handling okay so yes so um yeah so subscribe if you haven't and then we'll get into the topic if you guys want me to uh yes prodigy hey hey go over them in greater detail we will definitely do that timothy yes where'd he go <laughs> oh there he is he's on the sofa now he's right there yes yes <laughs> I did this because I knew he was going to be, like, hanging out. Yes, Ray the Queen, first lady. Oh, yeah, let me turn my fan on. It's warm. It gets warm so quick. Like, freaking hot. Oh, my bad. Yes, so we are standing on the sofa. Uh-oh, and I still don't know these darn things. So, yes, welcome. You guys got your notifications. Yes, hello, hello. Awesome. I just came in from walking, um, Kenny. So, uh, yeah, so gray top, lactic acid on ice. I showed you guys how to properly collect the specimen on ice. Uh, there are, you know, there are ways, like if you don't have everything that you need, there are ways to get around that. If you don't have a bag, you can use a glove, things like that. Um, but I wanted to show you the proper way um, did I do that here? I think, yeah, we did that here. The proper way to collect specimens um, when they have to be transported on ice. And the main goal is to not wet the label. So that's what you're focusing on when you are, um, you're confused with uh, the lab paper. What lab paper? Oh, your requisitions. Oh my gosh, we haven't gone over requisitions in forever. I don't have any sample requisitions with me here, but I can definitely um, possibly go over those with you. Um, yeah, talk about them in greater detail. I can like sketch out one really quick. And um, yeah, and we can, um, yeah, we can go over those. Matter of fact, I'll look for an old video. Remember I had to dig in the crate, so to speak and find some old videos that were removed or taken down or whatever, maybe I had too many and they were, they, YouTube went through that cleaning process. Uh, I still have some video, yeah, I can, I can look for whatever I have or we can just go over them. That's not hard to do, so yes, we'll definitely do that. Um, what else? So yeah, we're definitely, we talked about the gray top tube on ice. I went over the red top tube. There's a, a test for red. There's a red top tube, uh, a test that's collected in a red top tube that goes on ice. Um, you'll see the abbreviation ACE, and then of course blood ammonia levels, and you'll just see ammonia on your label, and it'll say ice on the label. And I don't have any of those samples um, with me either. You know, I had all that stuff at home, but this this topic came up because um, the gray top came up. So I had to explain and talk about the gray top tube and it is that tube that um, for that particular test you collected on ice. And you all uh, please know that have your ice ready, have your heat ready, have your, your um, glove ready. Gloves can be used when there's a light sensitive tube. You can use your hand when there's a light sensitive tube. You can use your hand when there's heat sensitive. If a test needs to be collected on heat right away and you don't have a, a heel warmer or anything to place it on, our hand, the temperature of our hands 
um, classify as, as a warmer for those particular or that particular test. And we'll go over those if you guys want. Um, yeah, just wanted to touch base on what we've already discussed and to see where you guys are if you want me to continue this and go over the test that the other test, because there's a handful of tests that have to be processed and transported on ice. There's a few that have to be, it's not as many heat sensitive ones as those that have to be collected on ice and then um, the light sensitive ones. There are not that many, but there's enough for you to be aware of. And especially if, you know, you're taking a test and you know, names and things like that will ring a bell because you'll have multiple choice, of course. And in the case of the ice, they're not gonna put ACE, ammonia and um, lactic acid, you know, so right already, you know that those three will have to be transported on ice. So if you don't see those three or one of those three, you know what I mean? You'll know that it's not whatever they're, they're giving you or, you know, vice versa. So, yeah. Okay. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Yes. So, yeah, so if you guys have any, oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Yes. Y'all forgive me. Hold on, hold on. I want y'all to see my broke side. Y'all know I'm rocking these. Jasmine. Yes, I was going to say Jessica. I saw the J, girl. I saw the J. Working on this um, phone is crazy. But, yes, thank you, Jasmine. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I really do. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. So, the ice... People were like, well, where are you going to get ice from? If you're in a clinic, you have ice in the break room or wherever. And in the hospital settings, there, I'm still, I know that they have not closed down the nursing station or the ice stations or whatever. There's ice available in the hospitals, just like there is ice available in the clinics. And you basically, like I said, you get it, you put it in the bag or a cup. If you use the cup, uh, just make sure that you put the, this is when you would put the tube in a glove and then put the glove with the tube in it down in the ice in the cup. So I'll do a demonstration on that as well because you don't want your label to directly in the ice. And I mentioned too that if it gets to the lab and that label is, you know, you it can't be seen, you can't read it or it's hanging off or it's come off, they do not relabel um, specimens. Text processors, they will not relabel that specimen because they did not collect it. And you cannot come down and relabel it. Now, that was standard, you know, when I was still in the lab and I thought it was the best and the perfect, um, you know, precaution. But uh, I don't know what's going on now. I hope that's still the case. Uh, but in any event, just be careful with your labels and make sure that you label them properly so that you don't have to um, have recollects and things like that. Yes, they let my that dog out every night, y'all. And this is what it sounds like. My windows are, of course, wide open because it's only like 70-something degrees here tonight after a nice rain came through. But, yes, yeah, sorry about that. And uh, yeah, thanks again, Jasmine, for being a super chatter tonight. I love it. Yes, weird. My first hospital didn't have gray tops. Okay, lactic and green, no gray. Always wondered about that. Okay, not sure about lactic acids going in um, uh, your green tops. Well, we never collected them in green. Uh, the additive, yeah, I guess you could use all I know is we always collected our ammonias in light green and our lactic acids were always gray. But like I said, if the additives are the same, you know, you have some, you know, with similar, well, yeah. Anyway, we'll get to that. I'll do my research on that. But for the most part, and, and follow protocol. Like that's probably how your lab or the hospital processes. So that's, that is legitimate i'll give them that i mean i'm sure they're not just handing out you know uh lactic acid tests in the wrong tube if that's what they do that's what they do and that's how their systems and machines are set up to process 
those uh, results as well as what is the who's the manufacturer of the tubes um, most of the tubes are the same across the board but you do have slight differences um, when it comes to manufacturers so yeah there are a lot of things that they go into play but when I do come to you guys just know that I'm really giving you the basics I'm giving you um, Becton and Dickinson tubes that's what I've used like the entire time I was in the field I was with the same place and that's who we that's the brand we use so sometimes it makes a little difference but not a huge difference so I'm not going to tell you anything you know weird or wrong yes thank you all so much everybody here got their notification tonight I love it yes I love it glucose test due on gray. Are you asking me that? Now I went over that the other day too. We talked about the different types of glucose because your uh, gray top, your, your gray top and your green top tube can be used for glucose as well as a, your lavender, your A1Cs. So you have to follow protocol and just make sure, um, I'm gonna give you information so that you can test, so that you can pass the test. Like, I'm gonna tell you, your gray, your green, and your lavender can be used for glucose, okay? Then we're gonna break it down. The gray top, the green top, you know, what, what are they looking for? Because it's a difference. There's a difference. And it's, it's, you have to be, you know, knowledgeable of that. It's not, a, not a, anything crazy, but like little things. Like you already know, an A1C, lavender top, A1C, that's your sugar, that's diabetes, that's glucose. Okay, so we know that's a lavender top, okay? So things like that. And I thought I mentioned that in the last video. So if you didn't watch the last video, check it out. Um, and I've been putting up some little shorts too. Uh, the little clips, the minutes, the little one, one minute or three minute. I forget where I put it, but I did break down the three tubes. Maybe that's going up on here after this. Stay tuned, okay? <laughs> Stay tuned for that because something, I, I put it somewhere. So just make sure if anything pops up, um, you guys check it out because uh, that's what I've been talking about the last couple days. So, and I just want it to be clear and I want you guys to be clear and know what's going on. Great tube in the place I work. Yes, and that's fine. Hi, Donna. Yes. Welcome, welcome. I just passed my NHJ last Thursday. Thank you. Dubinko, welcome and thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, Damo, no, no problem, no problem. Okay, Jasmine is an MA. We got our MA in the house. Didn't see that. Didn't see that. Sorry about that. And it's okay. You came in at the right time. Yes, you did. Carly came through. Awesome, awesome. I am so glad you guys were able to hang out with me for a little bit. I'm going to wait around this time. Uh, I'm putting all the other information up, you know, during the day. And then in the evenings, I realize, you know, people are home, you know, done with work days and all that good stuff. So thank you all so much. And please continue to comment down below and let me know what you want to see next. Thumbs up if you got your notification. I'm so glad that we're back on notification squad pretty much. Pretty much. So that means a lot and that says a lot that what I'm doing is kind of working. So yeah, so next we're gonna go over your, the rest of the, the tests that have to be collected on ice. We'll go over that tomorrow, as well as the tests that, have, that are light sensitive and the ones that um, have to be processed with heat. Okay, so if you guys are down for that, thank you, thank you, thank you for hitting that like, thumbs up button. Uh, if you guys are down for that, let me know and uh, we'll definitely get into it so yes yeah. so thank y'all for being here thank y'all for watching subscribing and all that good stuff and i will definitely be back tomorrow so you guys have a wonderful night and uh i'll see you guys later bye guys <laughs>